So today I'm going to show you how to edit videos with the YouTube Video Editor. The YouTube Video Editor is a great tool for what it was built for. It is not an editing software like iMovie, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, or anything like that. It has five functionalities. You can trim clips, you can add music to a clip from the YouTube Audio Library, you can choose where to place ads in longer videos if your channel is monetized, you can blur out parts of the video, and you can add or update your end screens, that's it. We end up using the YouTube Video Editor for the lives that we do on our Spanish channel quite a bit. So when you go live, you may be talking to the audience, answering the chat, waiting for people to connect before you get into the main content. That part you can cut out with the video editor. If there's any pauses or if there's a slow part at the end, maybe you're, maybe you're answering questions or doing something like that, those are things we'll go and trim out later. Also, if maybe you showed something that you don't want people to see, such as your phone number or email address, or you need to blur out people's faces, those are the types of changes you can make within the video editor. Why don't we hop in the computer and I'll show you how it works. So you can get into the YouTube video editor in two places. So if you're on one of your videos, you can click on edit video right here. Also, if you are in your YouTube studio, you can go to content right here and then click on edit whichever one of your videos. Let's check out our iMovie tutorial video. Once you're on this screen, you wanna go down to where it says editor right here. Okay, so here is the YouTube video editor. The playback is up above, so you can play, go back or forward by 10 seconds, adjust the volume, and you can adjust the speed of the video from 0.25 to 2x normal speed. Then down below that, so you can see right now, this is a 30 minute, 19 second video. This is kind of screenshots of the video throughout. Here is the waveform of the audio. One of the things you're going through making edits is right now we're zoomed all the way out. You can see that right here. And then depending on the types of changes, if you're trying to find a specific spot in the video, you may want to zoom all the way out. But then once you kind of fine tune a certain area you wanna look at, you can zoom all the way in. So this is showing 30 minutes if I zoom all the way into here you can see that I'm seeing right now 23 frames, not even a full second of video. So you can zoom in and out like that as you're looking to make changes. So the very first thing you can do within the videos is you can trim out pieces of it. So if you click on trim, the blue right here, so you'll see it highlights the whole section in blue. What you wanna do from here is you can either, if there's at the beginning or the end that you're trying to edit, you can just grab along the edge here and say, hey, I wanna cut out whatever that is, the first 30 seconds, 36 seconds of the video. And then maybe I wanna trim off to say this point in the video here. So you're gonna see it, it doesn't like the end screens here right now because they were way out here and now the end of the video is, is right here. If you wanna make changes within the video, you need to basically do that through the piece below. So if you put it on the exact the time of the video, so let's say, Let's zoom in a little bit. So like this break right here, maybe I want to split. So what you wanna do from here, it's not like if you saw this actual iMovie tutorial where you can put two different lines and then cut out the part between it. You want to take this line and either drag it one direction or the other. So if I want to take out a section this way, I can drag it like so. Or let's say I wanted to cut out whatever I'm saying during this piece here. So this part is gonna be cut out of the video. And then if I wanna find another piece to look at, maybe it's around the 15 minute mark. Let's zoom back in a little bit and say this piece here, um, I want to make another split from this point all the way to here. And then what we can do is go to preview. So if I preview right now and I go to this point and I hit play, it's gonna show you, it'll basically show you what it's gonna look like with this piece cut out. If essentially I want to change my mind, so what we can see now is if I go to, I can go to discard changes, I can go to undo. And so if I go undo, then you can see I'm back at the point where I can edit the trims. So what I may wanna do here is zoom all the way back out. If I decide maybe this section I don't wanna cut out anymore, I can hit the little X above this. You know, the same thing if I wanted to start at the very beginning of the clip, I can drag back like so. So what I wanna do from here though, is if I want, I could clear all, I could go to preview. You can see right now, you're not actually going to be able to save the clip, you know, with these cuts, you're gonna to have to first go to preview and then normally you can save. The issue right now is that I basically cut out the end screens. So 
let's just go back and put the end of the video back and then that error should stop. So you can see if I just wanted to cut out this part, I could hit preview, then I could save these changes. So that's essentially how the trimming of clip works. So you can take out the beginning and the end, any piece. You can't move stuff around though. It's just cut out and take away. The next thing you can do here is add music. So you can't add any music. You can't add sound effects. You can't add a new voiceover or anything like that. You can add music from the audio library. And so you can see here, it only wants to let you make certain changes at a time. So why don't we essentially undo Let's clear all, and then now it's happy again, and we can add music. So I can go to add track. I can search for the song here. One of the easiest ways to maybe find stuff, this isn't the easiest way to maybe sort through the songs. You can open up the audio library like so. But the, And then what you could do here is you find a song that you like. So if I clicked on Just Dance, and then and then basically I would need to refresh. And then, so if you see here, I had Just Dance, Awful, and June were starred songs. And so I could say, let's put in, what do we wanna to add today? Awful, let's add Awful. Okay, so you can see right now, it added the song to the first, whatever it is, three minutes and 37 seconds probably. What I could do from here is decide exactly where in the clip that I want it to be placed. And then the other thing is, so if I want to not play the entire song, the whole 337, I could trim either, say, the beginning or the end or the beginning of it to show, you know, the piece of the song that I wanted. The other thing right now is if you click on these three dots, you're, you can go, oops, I don't want, not that, just click on it normally, and you see the mix level. So right now it's at the highest volume. So if I play over this point, it is only going to play the song. You will not hear me speaking. And do I have volume on? There you go. That is the song Awful. Let's pause that. And then what we can do here is if we click on it again, if we go all the way to the other end, it is not gonna put it at zero volume and then my voice at 100%, you're still gonna be able to hear both. So let's see, it takes a second to process, then hit play. And then so you can hear both of them right now. And then obviously if you were to adjust somewhere in between from here all the way to the end, it's just gonna to continue to turn up the music volume. And so that's essentially how you can add songs. That's what this section right here is for. Then the next thing is to add ad breaks. So if you have a monetized channel and the video is over eight minutes, you can have ads during the video. And there is a setting so YouTube just puts the ads in automatically where they think that they should, or you can go in manually and add them. So you can see as of right now, it put in one ad break at actually, or I think where I just opened this up. So there's an ad break at 932. If I wanted to have ad breaks every five minutes, let's say I could go to 520, add ad break. I could go out here, add another one. So the thing is, this doesn't mean that there's always gonna be ads at each one of these points. So this is gonna say you're open to the possibility that ads are shown at these points. There may, may, there may not be an advertiser that wants to advertise at that point, so it may not show all of those ads, but you can basically choose the best places that you wanna show ads in your videos. So beyond the monetization, the next thing is adding blur. So if you were to click on add blur, so there's two options. You can blur faces or you can do custom blur. To blur faces, so in this video, you can see it found lots of pictures of me, and I don't know why they're all different ones when I'm the same person. But anyway, so I went into this video previously and asked it to, to blur faces. It may be this half hour video took an hour for it to actually read and find faces. And then I could actually go through and select the ones that I wanna blur out. That's not what, I don't wanna do that today. So if I were to say close this, and let me show you how the blur custom works. Sometimes if I do too many things, it, it doesn't actually show up with the blur. But what I can do is if I just refresh the screen, let's go to reload. It probably lost the music and some of the other stuff, so you may want to save. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let's try this again. So if we go again to custom blur, you can see if you're doing it right, you're gonna see a blurred out shape come up like so. So there's four options here. You can have a rectangle or an oval. So let's say we want an oval and let's say we wanna cover up my eyes and we wanna make this 
a little bit smaller like this. So then there's two different options after you have the shape that you want. You can say track object. So if it's like this and then I hit play, you're gonna see the oval move back and forth as I move my head. Play. So that's how the track object works. If I go to fix blur position, then if I hit play again, the oval is going to stay where it is and you can see me moving my face around. So like that. So you can see this time, oh. So you can see this time the oval in one place just blurring out my eyes. Okay, and then if I wanted to, so I could undo all of this probably a couple steps to actually get rid of it. Okay, so no more blur. Okay, so now let's take a look at the end screen. So you can edit the end screens here, or you can do that within the end screen tab. We have two videos on how to create your end screen with Canva, and then how to add the end screen elements to your videos. Both of those I'll put down in the description below. But what you could do here is actually, why don't we go to the very end of the video so we can see this better. And let's zoom in a little bit like so. So what you're gonna see here is the grayed out area is the last 20 seconds. So from 30 minutes, or yeah, 29 minutes, 59 seconds to 30 minutes, 19 seconds are the place where you could have an end screen. You can see that I have these two things starting and maybe 18 or 19 seconds left in the video. If you wanna add other elements, just click the plus element. I already have stuff on screen here, so I think the that's why the apply template won't show up. It's grayed out right now. But let's say I wanna add our subscribe button. So if I click on this, it's gonna add it for the entire 20 seconds. But say I want people to focus on maybe clicking on these videos and I only want this to show up, you know, for the last couple of seconds. The shortest something you can have on as an end screen is five seconds. So you can see this is 30 minutes, 14 seconds. And so there's another five seconds left to show the subscribe button. You can move elements around like so. The one thing you can't do is have anything overlap or you can see it's not gonna let me save this video. So if I wanted to add this right here, I could then hit save. And now, you know, the only change I have right now is adding the subscribe button to the end screen. So once you've made all the changes you want with the YouTube video editor, it's going to save this video. The thing that's gonna happen is if you're cutting out pieces of the clip um, or blurring it, some of those takes a little bit longer to process. If the video is public, it's gonna continue to show the old version until the video is processed, then it'll show the new version of the video. So if you ever make changes in here to a video that you're not happy with, you can click on these three dots like so and revert to the original. Also, if you make changes, you could actually save a new copy, but we usually end up trying to keep up the original video because there's already views on that and things like that. So if I were to show you our Spanish channel right now, so this is our Spanish channel. You can see these two videos right here that were streamed, so five days ago and a week ago. So we went into those videos and trimmed out the boring parts of the live so that the replay is much more concise and it still says stream because it's the same video. If you were to upload a new version of it, instead of just saving it on the same file, you're gonna lose all of those earlier views and everything else. Okay, so that's the basics of the YouTube video editor. If you wanna learn more about editing videos for YouTube, check out our iMovie tutorial right here or down below the DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Hope to see you in those in future videos. Bye-bye.